Hey, 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 y'all, hey, y'all. I hope y'all Saturday is going well. But let's get into this right quick. So I really didn't, I skipped through the, um, somebody told me that, uh, Eva Q went live for her 30K. Okay, she got 30, you know, K subscribers because people want to see what's, what's next for her and her, you know, relationship and want to see, you know, what's going to happen. So basically, you know, tuning in to see some of people coming over there to tune in to see and support and some of them coming over there to see the train wreck. But it's either here or there. But let's get to the point where I was just skipping through. I didn't watch the whole thing. You no. Know, skipping through, skipping through, skipping through, right? So I seen the point is, you know, what she had on, you know. I guess her husband, you know, the music was loud. She kept on playing that same old song that they always play in her vlogs or whatever. Um, so he was saying to her, I don't know, I really couldn't hear him say anything, but I think it was about her clothes you know like what she had on like in the like down in the you know down at the bottom you know he was telling her that and she was like nobody can't see anything i heard her say that and i heard her say that she would fix it but she i don't believe she never did she just wrapped her thing up clothes it's like on the random 116 mark the 116 mark of the video like at the, almost at the end and i'm like i know he you know africans and you know there's a lot of them africans like to be controlling um i know firsthand because i know people have dated africans right here in america that stay in america and also my godmother rest her soul she dated uh african she, when she was married to one and it, it lasted a while but he was trying to control her and it didn't work until they got a divorce but the point of it is um yeah i know how they operate not saying that all of them like that but majority of them are you know i like, like to control and be superior over their woman um which is nothing wrong with being equally yoked and stuff like that and being respectful to your partner but controlling is a different that ain't no good thing no matter if it's american man or no matter what kind of man it is but anyway on that note so I guess he was trying to tell her, he came in her face and he was trying to tell her that he, I guess he didn't want nobody seeing his woman's, I guess, what she had, I guess, was provocative at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, nobody can't see anything. And she was like, well, I'll fix it. And you could see her face change when she had went over to the other side. And when he came back on camera, he was, you know, they, it's just like the front end. The front end for me is fake. You know what I'm saying? But it's either here or there. I just want to bring that to y'all attention to let y'all know that y'all see that. Um, like I say, you know, yes, you got to be respectful. And, you know, she married now. So, she, you know, I guess, you know, want her to dress appropriate for the camera. Um, yeah. Yeah. Let me know what y'all feel and what y'all think about it. And that's the only thing that really was exciting. And she was just talking about how she don't be bragging to that. She been doing this for six years, which is a blessing. You have been able to do this for six years and still doing it without have to clock into a job and stuff like that. But when it's time for you to get a real job, you never know what may happen. It's going to be kind of hard for you, sis, because the way this economy is, they want experience. It don't matter if you going to McDonald's these days. It's hard unless you just first starting off out of high school. But if you've been a you grown person and you ain't never had no job before, they're going to be looking at you kind of sideways if you haven't worked in six years and no real job, you know. But that's either here or there. That's a long note. That's another topic. But anybody that say that, I am, that I'm telling a story, yeah, I must don't know the real world, okay? Because I'm not. Because I didn't hear stories. I didn't seen people say people don't even want to hire you. Or, or if you're trying to get a job, if you had a lot of experience, and you trying to get a job at McDonald's, they'll be like, you have too much experience for McDonald's. And I haven't seen it happen to people. And I have heard it happen to people. And I have went out for jobs and they say you had too much experience. Or they say, uh, you know, yeah, they say you had too much experience. Or then they'll say if you're trying to go for a real a job that you really don't have any experience. And they'll say you don't have the experience for this job. Or whatever may be the case. But that's either here or there. So, yes, it's a blessing that you've been able to. Um, not have to work and stuff like that, but I don't knock the people that work a nine to five or got to work or got to clock in because it's nothing wrong with it. It is life, okay? Everybody don't want to do social media or whatever. But anyway, on that note, that's all I really got to say. I hope y'all have a blessed Saturday. And yes, I just brought this to my people's attention, and that's the key word: my people's attention. If you're not for me, you don't like my channel, don't come in. It's pointless because you're not going to get a response. Um, because I don't respond to BS. Because, yeah, as simple as that. See y'all in the next one.
Bye-bye.